Hi, it's Jim at Atlantic British. I do the technical support here. Today we're going to do like a walk around tour underneath an LR3. LR3 and Range Rover Sport are exactly the same underneath. Uh, we're going to be showing you the air suspension compressor, the emergency brake actuator, and some parts of the actual air suspension system. Um, let's take a short walk over to the car. First thing I want to start with is probably the hardest to see. It's just above the rear axle under the car. It's the emergency brake actuator. If you can look up past the axle, I got it lit up there. You can see my finger probably. That's where it is. Exactly in the middle of nowhere. From that actuator, there's cables that wind around and come out into each rear brake. You'll find the emergency brake shoes are inside the rear brake calipers. It's electrically operated, fairly reliable. Next thing under here I want to take a look at is parts of the air suspension. One thing you should know is the compressor is underneath this little plastic cover right here by the frame. Make sure if you're jacking this truck up, you're not jacking on this because you could wreck it and spend a lot of money. There's like three bolts hold this cover on and some snaps. I've already got the three bolts out. I'll just release the snaps. Okay, once you get that out of the way, here's your compressor. It's not a bad job to replace. There has been some problems with them. Um, next thing we want to look at under here is up from the compressor is the reservoir for the air. Not too many problems with that. Next thing back towards the back uh, I'll show you where the actual height sensors are. Height sensors are back here. You can see there's a little arm on them. One on each side. Next thing I want to show you is if you're going to do an oil change, kind of what you got to go through on this truck just to get at your oil filter and the drain plug. As you can see, we've moved to the front of the car. As I mentioned before, to do an oil change in this car, you have to take this whole skid plate off. There's a little plate up front and this plate. It's pretty straightforward. A bunch of bolts come out. It's heavy. You may need some help getting it out of here. I'll remove this and show you where the drain plug is. Also while we're up here, here's where the front height sensors are for the air suspension. And while we're up in there, you can see there's brake lines and stuff that go to the front brake caliper. As you can see, I've removed the skid plate. You can find your drain plug for your engine oil right there. And if you move towards the front, the oil filter's right here. It's attached to an oil cooler. While we're up here in the front, I can show you where the front differential is. It's right here with its drain. It's a good idea to change it once in a while. We can move farther back into the car and if you're wondering where your transfer case is, it's just above my head. And there's a shift motor there that sometimes fails on these cars. Here at Atlantic British, we stock everything for your LR3 or Sport, whether it's a simple oil filter that was up in the front or in the back for the emergency brake. We carry the actuator. We carry the emergency brake shoes. Just about anything you need, you know, brake shoes, brake pads, anything you want, 
you can get for your rover here at Atlantic British. You can give us a call at 1-800-533-2210 or check us out on the web at roverparts.com.